too, too late. We won't be in here too, too late. And we do have a lot of people in here. Don't forget, go to Hidden History Museum to get your tickets to join us for the Spring Fling. It's springtime, and we're going to have a great time at the Hidden History Museum, April 3rd, Saturday night, 7 p.m. Great food, complimentary drinks, great music, and phenomenal comics. You never know who will pop up. It's always a great vibe. All right, let's get one more good call in here before we get out here. Now, Blen, what's up, Blen? Now, Blen, Blen said he's a white guy, but he kind of sounds like a Caribbean. Hey, compartmentalize a couple things. Um, you speak of your ancestors um, and their spirit, and you also speak of this demonic white supremacist. Yes. Well, at the same time, you're kind of borrowing from white supremacy. I mean, even having this discussion, you spoke of no written language in Africa, but you're on an iPhone speaking English. So how do you compartmentalize? Okay, you speak of white supremacy of it as like it's not a fact. Like, and then, but then you borrow from it and say, well, I'm American and all these get all these great contributions contributions that you actually benefit from white supremacy that's where you speak of like you're higher than people that didn't benefit from white supremacy because africans didn't have a written language and neither did foundational black americans you're speaking the white man's language and so how do you compartmentalize that with the fact that 20 percent of foundational black americans have that white demonic dna running through their their their, their bloodline <laughs> Well, the thing is, there's some some of these your your community, the white supremacist community. Some of them have like a great 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 grandparent who might have been black, and um, some of them have Moorish bloodlines coming in that were some of the Italians and some of the Spanish because the Moors were over there tearing up some of those bajajays. So a lot of people are historically mixed, but there's a lot of people out here who don't have what we have. We as But you pick and choose what spirit when it's good and bad as it only how it benefits you. And I understand the need to have an identity because I agree with you. Like the fact that Germans can come here, Italians can come here and no one calls them German Americans. So I, I'm sympathetic to the fact of you looking for an identity. But I just think the way that you do it, now, first of all, we're all miracles of consciousness, but you do it in a negative. I, I think that for you to grow, for Sorry. people to grow, you have to... Slow down, slow down. I know my identity. I'm a foundational black American with a great spirit of Majara. Sir, you don't have an identity because you're not an Anglo white. That's one thing I know. You're not Anglo. You're not Anglo in any sense of the word, but you want to identify with Anglos. So you're searching for an identity. No, no, no. Identity and ego is, is, is an impediment to growth. And so what I'm telling you is that you have all these people seeking, seeking this identity and ego, and it's an hindrance to the miracle of consciousness that brings us all together. Like you said, but, but, trying but, to find these but, terms. But, but you don't have an identity, sir. That's what I'm saying. We, all of us in the room who are foundational black American, we know our identity. And we know our lineage and we know our roots. You don't have an identity because you you come from a fleeing lineage where you failed, your parents failed somewhere in Europe or Latin America or the Middle East because you're not Anglo. And you want to be Anglo because you try to identify. But the ancestors you speak of sold you out and you're, you're trying to compartmentalize that. And I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with you saying my ancestors failed because they did. Right. And that's a fact that I have to deal with, but I don't wrap my identity in that the way that you do, because I don't have a problem with it. See, you have this issue, and I think what you are is you have a resentment for your ancestors, or certain ancestors. Oh, oh Lord, no, that's a projection, sir. My foundation of Black American ancestors were phenomenal people. You understand? What about the white slave owners that raped those people? That yeah, turned well, you. There are a lot of black people during the Jim Crow era who were born out of rape. They have white parents directly. That doesn't change their spirit. That doesn't change. They don't have demonic, but you said that demonic. No. Um, yeah, the white supremacists are a demonic spirit. But the thing is, black people, we have a God spirit. And the God spirit is always going to conquer the demonic spirit. You understand? The black gene is always dominant. 
that's the thing. The black gene is always going to absorb and eliminate that white gene. That's what white supremacy is really so upset about because they can be genetically annihilated by the powerful black genes. The, Which the, there's nothing. The, no, no, no. There's, there's no, no research listen, listen, that. No, no, feel me. Do you no, have anything that supports that claim? Because you're just talking religious zealots stuff. No, no, no. I want you to feel me. I want you to feel me. See, that's just like saying in coffee, there's a, a milk gene. When, you, when milk hits coffee, it's no longer milk. All right? It's a cappuccino. It's no longer milk. It doesn't exist no more. Let's deal with the human genome. Let's deal with the human genome. That's, no, no, that's what I'm talking about. The, okay. So once the white supremacist gene hits that black spirit of Majara, the white supremacist you get Patrick Mahomes and, and you get great NFL quarterback and that's what, that's, that's what you're missing that's what you're missing you get Patrick Mahomes hold on hold on no, don't, don't cut me off I'm making a point it, it doesn't exist no more you're no longer white alright it's nullified so that's the point it's, it's no longer white that's my point the white gene is null and void but go ahead go ahead Glenn, un unmute your microphone because you, uh, yeah, you just start saying random words. Okay. Well, no, what I'm trying to say is we're all a miracle of consciousness. We need to accept that. And the actual, what you think is is, 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 is what makes you strong. And I, and I understand the need to have that identity because there is a vacuum. So I'm sympathetic to that. But go you back, so go, go down, slow down. You're projecting. You're projecting, sir. We've always had a, 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 an identity of dignity and godliness as foundational black americans that's always been our identity we're the we're the moral superiors we've always had a morally superior identity then why have to talk about it so much why can't you just be that's my point of view is that it's an it's, it's really this to the room it's an impediment to your growth to just just wrap yourself up in this you know zealot you know the the milk is this this you know the coffee and but what it is is you get patrick mahomes and he's neither really black or white he's a miracle of conscience that does great things and there's people that make great contribute contribute contributions to society that are both black and white and you just don't need to put your identity on you know this tit for tat who does this who does that i mean you're you you, you disrespect africans you disrespect people from the caribbean and really what it is in my mind is it is no i don't no 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 you don't get to say that no 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 your ass don't get to say that we don't play that game because for the longest, Africans and Caribbeans have been coming over here disrespecting us blatantly, and we've kind of brushed it off. Right now, we ain't really brushing it off no more because now it's getting a little bit too bad about what happens. And other things you're saying, like in the conversation, it seemed like you were trying to just go ahead. Hold on. Listen to what you're saying. Now, first, I never said you were demonic just because you're white. You're demonic if you practice white supremacy. Is that true or not? Well, white supremacy, there's two ways of looking at it. There's, there's practicing it, and then there's the, just the fact of it. Again, we're speaking, you know, whites are better at, at, at putting society, um, civilizations together. And maybe they go too far. Actually, I would say Chinese people are the Whoa, best at putting civilizations down, together, and they go too down. far. Go ahead. Go down. Okay, so whites are better at putting civilizations together. Correct. And if you're American and proud of being American, you should be proud of your uh, founding forefathers because they wrote a great declaration and made the greatest country. And you're trying to claim that, but then call them demonic at the same time. And I okay, think that... Down, I don't think of, oh, okay, go ahead. Let's, let's unpack that. Let's unpack that. Let's unpack that. Okay. They did not do that on their own. Boy, you're talking about they created the greatest country. The yeah, you white. picked a little cotton. Come on, move on, bro. What did you do? You, you guys didn't do anything, bro. And you, and that's what you're trying to do is you're overcompensating. And it's all right because okay. there's great contributions in okay. culture, okay. music, sports, all that. Let's, let's go back. Well, okay. Building okay. the country, okay. you just okay. happened. Okay. So you didn't build a country, bro. Okay. You didn't build a country. Okay. So why did your white supremacist um, brethren fail when we weren't picking the cotton? How did they fail? What are you talking about? White they, people died in the Civil War to free. Talk about like, no Civil War. But how do white people we, fail? How do white people we, fail? Tell me how white people fail. I'm telling you, before they had us picking the cotton, so to speak, 
They tried to set up colonies here in the Americas and failed every single time. Why? If they were so great, why? That's historically inaccurate. Okay. <laughs> You're like, when, okay. You, all right. Then name the okay. historically inaccurate. Then name the year. They you pick cotton. You didn't build the country. And it has okay. Then name, the, name the year. Then name the year they succeeded. When did they start succeeding? Name the year. I don't know, 1776, around then when they, okay, they so kicked the British ass. Okay, so you need to be quiet. You going to the 1700s, you don't know what you're talking about. You need to be quiet and listen. That's why certain people like yourself who don't know what they're talking about, you need to sit over there in the dunce corner and listen. The white supremacists, they tried to build colonies over here all in the 1500s and failed early 1600s they failed the only time they got it popping was after 1619 that's when we got into those english colonies sir they failed trying to do this thing on their own they couldn't build a damn thing they failed miserably in roanoke they failed in jamestown they were failing to the point of cannibalism they weren't building no great societies until we had to be introduced to them and assist them. That's the reality. Now, that's either true or not true. Who organizes civil? I'm talking about organizing civilization. Like, I'm not trying to downplay the contributions because it was contributions and you should be proud of those contributions. But I just think that you overstate them when you look at, okay, I'm not going to sit here and say that white people are better sprinters, better basketball players, and better football players. I can acknowledge. Okay. African okay, stop. Okay. Let's, let's stop the Mayo Babble because now you're Mayo Babbling. Before the 1600s, name the successful European society. They had just come over on boats that Africans didn't have. Okay. Africans never built a boat. So they came over here on boats. Stop, stop. You're, you're talking that 4chan shit. All right. With Abu Bakari, they had boats. They had thousands of ships that left West Africa. Sir, come on. Man. We, we're not doing the 4chan um, cracker battle. No, we're talking about the, the people that... Go ahead. Go ahead. What happened? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Turn your microphone on. Because you're just doing a whole bunch of I'm white and I say so right now. No, we're, the topic was the people that actually settled here. Right. They came to America and built the colonies. That's what we're talking about. But so so we need to stay in the context of that argument. And you're going to right. left field because you don't have that argument. Because you have to go down. You're not going to babble. We're talking about the organization of America. Correct. Right. Who organizes society? I'm not saying contributions and who did the hard work or heavy lifting. I'm saying who organizes society. Right. So white supremacy is just a fact. It's just it's just when it comes to organizing civilization, it's a fact of life. How come they couldn't organize Europe? How come Europe was we talking about? OK, so Africans Europe, didn't have the wheel. Europe, Europe was a shithole until black people built up the wealth over here europe wasn't worth a damn sir so you've never heard of the renaissance them? you've never heard of the renaissance are you kidding me yeah you yeah, guys didn't have the yeah, wheel yeah. and they and had great who, sculptures guess, in and, greece and, and, and guess who guess who ushered in the the renaissance in europe black moors sir the renaissance era it's all was all the egyptians look at the egyptians no, sir, sir, the Renaissance era was because of the Black Moors, sir. That's absolutely cap, dude. That's, from the that's Romans and Italians, bro. Fact. You just, you just, when you get... Sir, they didn't have anything popping in Europe until the Moors went in there and introduced shit to them. It's absolutely cap. And, and, and that's sir, the thing, is you have to project your Wakanda because you guys didn't build no anything. Wakanda, you didn't have no a Wakanda, nothing. Y'all were up there dying off in Europe. You almost died off in three different waves, sir. The Justinian it's called the Black Plague. You could go into the Black Plague. The Justinian Plague, the Black Plague, the thirteen, the 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 plague of the famine of thirteen fifteen. We black folks had to keep going up there saving that ass. Yo, you didn't stop. save Africa, but there's nothing nothing in Africa. So you built up Europe, but you couldn't build up Africa. It's cap, bro. The, 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 hold on. Because Africa was built up. Africa is an old continent. No, there were, there were. Oh no, no, sir. 
there were several vast societies that were wealthy in Africa for years. Societies go up, societies go down. Africa has been around, they've had societies for tens of thousands of years. Societies go up and societies go down. But I don't disagree on that. I don't disagree on that. But it's what we're speaking of in general and what you're trying to take credit for, it, it just didn't happen. It's all cap. You know, what, look what, at the what's, Egyptian pyramid. What's all cap? Look at the Egyptian pyramids, even North Africa. I mean, it does come and go, right? So you had Spaniards and you're calling claims for Arabs. The Moors were Ar Arabics and, Arab and they enslaved, they they enslaved the same. They were black. They no, were they black. weren't. They were Arabic and they, uh, they uh, enslaved the the Moors were black. That's why they were called Moors. Moors, a variation of black and dark. No, when Europeans seen Arabics, they considered them black. And, but you just denied the right. Right. You just denied the right response. Northern Africa, like you don't. Like, it's okay that you have this. But this all. The Moors brought in the Renaissance era. They ushered it in. It was black people, and it, it was very specific black people who were teaching the Europeans. People like Ziriab. This man was a celebrity in, in Al Andalus. He taught the Europeans how to eat in four course meals. So you have very specific people, sir, teaching you. This is very well documented. That's not, it was well documented that we know who, who was, again, there was a renaissance in Europe. You said Europe was getting decimated. It's not true. There's a renaissance, and Africa didn't even have a wheel. You had no two story buildings. And Stop it, sir. Over there in Libya, there are caves. Those are Arabs. Those are Arabs. Come on. Stop. Stop taking credit. So you take credit for white. No, stop it. Stop it. Bro, it's okay. It's okay. Just enjoy the movie. Uh, uh, when the Arabs invaded, they came from somewhere else and invaded that area. Africa was not an Arab land. They came later and invade just like in egypt egypt the ancient egyptians were not arabs or didn't look like a damn arab because an arab didn't exist sir oh goodness but going back to the area of libya going back thousands of years there's a cave that has drawings of black people with chariots with wheels so they did have wheels sir and y'all can Google that. You know, these white supremacist 4chan talking points can easily be debunked because you have to learn how to cope with being a person who depends on black people for saving you. We've had to save you. Well, that's never happened, bro. It's the opposite. You're coping because white people saved you. Like, look at the slave trade. I mean, you didn't save there. You but didn't if save you would have been, if you, it's a. You didn't save anything. Black people have had to save you over and over and over again. Even over here in the Americas, y'all were starving and eating each other. Literally eating each other. It's all cap. Let me just land my plane. There's okay. no cap nothing, sir. There's no cap here. These are facts. It's all cap. It's, it's okay. But let me just... Just just yelling, I'm right and I say so, don't cut it. We don't play that here. So, but go ahead, sir. Ah. That's not how I was trying to come off. What I'm trying to say is we're all miracles of consciousness. So, and I understand trying to find the identity and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just when ego gets attached. But right, if you look at the miracle of consciousness, if you would have got, if your ancestors would have came instead of coming to America, they would have went to South America or been enslaved by Arabics. They would have cut their dicks off and not let them reproduce. So you wouldn't be here. So those people, and, 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 and what kind of babble is that? What kind of woulda coulda you don't know what would have happened historically what we do know if it weren't for black people saving you you would have been wiped out of europe and you're not even an anglo you're probably like a spanish guy because i know you're ashamed of your background many of you are and y'all like to project that shame onto us because we have a pride about our survival our ancestors survived the greatest atrocity in human history and we're still here thriving and being influential um, you are just a wannabe Anglo who's sitting up on 4chan sharing Negro memes. So yeah, I would feel bad too if I was reduced to that. Right? Well, I just think you're overcompensating. I think you're you 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 you're, you're, you can't because you're smart, but you're and, and I understand the need again for this identity and to fill this vacuum, but it's an impediment to growing as a person so anyone in this room if you follow this stuff and you have to get wrapped up in and keep a scoreboard it doesn't matter we all get where we're coming from it doesn't matter we're all here right so how we got here 
No, you're saying that because you don't have a scoreboard. You don't have any wins on the board. Bro, we're talking in English on a phone with electricity. It's all created by white people. So, um, sir, if you don't stop, man, electric lighting, that was... I know, Peter. No, no, electric lighting, that's um, Lewis Latimer, Foundation of Black Americans. So you thank him for the lights on your iPhone. He wrote the first book on electric lighting. So that's us, too. I'm, I'm, when I say we are all about all of this progress, our hands are all in it, not yours. You come from a fleeing... No, it's collective. Back. Get out of here. Come on. It's a collective. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't matter. Stop with the skill. You didn't contribute nothing. That's why your your family fled. And y'all didn't contribute anything. You had no, you don't have any icons, sir. You don't have any icons, and you had to flee, and that's why you're all up in omics all the time. And notice, we're not in white supremacist spaces worried about what y'all doing, because y'all ain't got shit going on. Everything is indicative of what we got going on. So that's why you all in our spaces all the time. Trying to get some of that Majora energy that you don't have. Trying to wash, wash off that demonic spirit you got. <laughs> There's no demonic spirit. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's just you justifying and you're lashing out at an individual based on something that happened in the history. And I have no sleep. Sir, the, the white supremacists are absolutely demonic. They are the human embodiment of demonic spirits. OK, but, but you need to look at the, when you speak of white supremacists, uh, you, you're so proud of all the, the achievements of your of the of people that aren't even you, like aren't even related to you directly. Right. So. Should, right, cool. should people not be proud? Should right. I not be proud? And I'm not. I don't care that white people built the fucking internet because I didn't build it. I care about what I built as a person, right? So I'm not going to look at my identity. And the white people got some of the shit from the black folks. It's black people contributing to that. But it wasn't you and it wasn't. But it was black people contributing to it. Oh, turn the microphone on. And when we talk about what our ancestors have done and what they've survived, I am absolutely my ancestors. I'm absolutely the embodiment of my ancestors. And you are the embodiment of your failed ancestors. <laughs> they failed in your ancestors. Hey, hey, look, my ancestors didn't sell myself. We were, I'm sure I was Irish. I got some Irish in me, so someone might have enslaved us back then. And you might have you might have been better in the field. And, that, and that's great, right? But... We all, in our past, we all have ancestors that failed us at some point, right? So your African ancestors failed you when they sold you, and you spoke about that for some trinkets, right? Let that go. That's all I'm trying to say is if you keep getting hung up on that with your identity, it is an impediment to your growth. And you can take that for what it's worth. You can call me white supremacist, a demon, and all that. But I just see someone that, and there is a need for it, but you just take yourself way too serious. And you're putting a scoreboard on whether or not white people did this and you know black people did do some great things and that's great for everybody it's not just great for black people it's not just great for white people white people did great things and that's great for everybody and people did bad things and that's horrible for everybody right so we need to just navigate that and just try to keep in mind and don't just wrap your identity at it identity at it and look at people as individuals well the thing is you spew a bunch of anti-black gibberish so how are you telling us to look at people as individuals and you have a whole bunch of anti-black gibberish that you spew? You sound just like the white supremacists on 4chan. Not at all. I, I, what I was saying is there's a difference between the fact of, of who can organize a civilization better. And again, Chinese people organize better civilizations, but they go too far. You can go too far in organizing a civilization. And that's when you get communism. Hitler and all that type of things. So it's not, it's not necessarily a good thing. I'm just saying you are actually benefiting. No, 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 you can't sit here and tell us about individuals and all of that. And you are up here spewing anti-black racism and lies. You're talking about y'all just pick cotton, bro. You're not going to give us advice on some shit you don't know what you're talking about. We did more than pick cotton. I'm in Washington, D.C. right now. This, this city was designed by a foundational black American, Benjamin Banneker. We did more than pick some damn cotton, sir. We are the, the bloodline and the heart of this nation. We okay. are the you can be proud of that, right? But, but white people can't be proud of what they did because then it goes, it goes too far. 
Now, what are you proud of? Well, I don't really give a fuck. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I, I'm proud of what... No, no, because you're ashamed of how you get down. The white supremacists, and I'm talking about the white supremacists. What exactly are you proud of? I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck if Bill Gates built it. Okay. See, that's the thing. Yeah, we're going in circles, but we'll just wrap it up. Yeah, because you're just not wrapping up. I appreciate the time. And I, and I all right, all right, all right. Yeah, see, you and, and, and you got to watch this kind of guy right here. This white boy. Notice he he tries to talk, almost has a little black scent. You know, he he's all seeped in our culture. And you want to be proud of the demonic spirit of the white supremacists. That's why he keeps saying, I don't give a damn. I don't give a F. I don't give a F. Yeah, you do. You just ask, how come you can't be proud of whiteness and all of this? Okay, what exactly are you proud of? See, when you ask that, now you got to start telling the truth. And the stuff that the white supremacists, the things that they've accomplished, it's all had a, an undertone of demonic, trifling, degenerate energy. You see, and you're ashamed to say what you're proud of. That's how demonic the white supremacists are. Your history as a white supremacist, and I'm not talking about white people, I'm talking about the white supremacists. Your accomplishments are seeped and undergirded by demonic ass energy. You can't accomplish nothing without subjugating somebody or harming somebody. So that's why when you say you're proud of something, it's like, oh, damn, damn, nigga, you proud of the murders you did? That's why he didn't want to say. See, he's having an identity crisis and he's trying to project it onto us. Because we have a Majara spirit, a spirit of righteousness, we can point to our achievements and our heroism because we don't, we don't harm people like that. We can get to iconic status without harming people. That's the great thing about us. The white supremacists can't do that. Every accomplishment they have, it's tied to some degenerate shit they did. And they know it. Any accomplishment they have, it's tied to them stealing, killing, raping, robbing. You understand? We talk about building this country, making it great. Look at the subjugation and the degenerate behavior and the the hell you had to put us through to have us do it for you. You see, you can't sit up and talk about all the great shit you did and we're sitting here carrying the load. And we can prove it because you couldn't do it on your own. You see, this is why knowing history is very great. So when these white supremacists start spewing this nonsense, you can shut that down real quick. You can shut it down very quick. Ain't that right, Blend? You talking about you Irish? No, there's some Spanish there. Do you from your family is from some little old musty village in Portugal or Spain or some shit, dude? You try to anglicize yourself by claiming Irish. Stop it. I don't believe that. You want to be, which even makes you even more demonic. You want to be more demonic. Lord, let's get Wally in here. Wally, hop in. We are deep in 